Hey Heidi, looks like you're busy. Yep, uh, getting ready for wine club pickup. It's amazing to me, we've sent out our, our um, email already and I've got little signs posted all around the shop and we've been talking about it. And I know I'm still gonna have somebody come in here and say, I didn't know it was wine club pickup. So, wine club pickup this Saturday and Sunday. I say come early um, because you get a lot more attention. Um, and, uh, you know, if you can't pick up, then you can pick up anytime after uh, Saturday or Sunday. We'll have the boxes here fully loaded and ready to rock and roll. And now we're headed over here because we've got some pretty amazing wines to put together. This is our, uh, our theme is um, tired <coughs> dogs that over deliver. And so nice price points and some unique varietals. Um, that I've put together here that I think just uh, knock it out of the park. Okay, so we're starting off with our white Bordeaux. Um, I know Bordeaux uh, or any French label could be a little bit intimidating if you don't know what grape varietals grow in that region because they're named after the region rather than the grape. This one happens to be 100% uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Sometimes they'll add a little bit of Sauvignon just to tone down the uh, bright acidity, but in this case it's 100% Sauvignon Blanc and I wanted to have something that was nice and refreshing on the tasting this week because um, uh, our weather is warming up. We're at 71 degrees working our way towards 80 so I'm looking forward to it. It should be a really nice weekend uh, especially for wine club pickup. Another shameless plug. Um, next we're moving on to Sean Miner. Sean Miner was kind enough to um, throw me this shirt so I figured I should wear it while I'm featuring his absolutely fabulous Pinot Noir. This is all Central Coast fruit. It's 100% Pinot Noir. It's got this lovely kind of light color to it. Um, he does not over manipulate. He doesn't throw other varietals in there to make it a darker Pinot Noir. So it's definitely more that um, light Burgundian style. You do get some cherry in this, raspberry, strawberry, cherry cola. Um, and on the palate, this is just it sits so nicely, that wonderful bright acidity that makes it such a versatile food wine. Um, we haven't had a Pinot on the tasting in a long time. This one comes in at $13.99, and I'm, I was so surprised at the quality. Um, he spent a lot of time in the Pacific Northwest, so his style's a little bit different, um, and, I, and I like that about him. I think he's got a lot of integrity in his winemaking, and so this is definitely hot on our list. Um, next, we're moving on to the Amalaya. Um, this is predominantly uh, Malbec. Uh, this one comes from Argentina. It's blended with Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and a 1% Tanat. Um, it's got nice big flavor, um, uh, uh, a hint of vanilla on the finish. It's dark in color and really quite fabulous. And um, this was my little surprise. A couple weeks ago, I, my dad and I were commenting that every single wine we tasted on that particular Tuesday was wonderful. Um, surprisingly, this comes from South Africa. It got 90 points both from wine advocate and wine enthusiast. This one is predominantly Shiraz, 74% Shiraz, blended with Sinso, Cabernet Sauvignon, Grenache Carignan, and Mavedra. Um, I had a, a fair amount of South African wines, but this one stylistically, I just thought it had so much upfront fruit. Uh, sometimes the pinotage to me smells like a band-aid um, and so this was just so delightful and um, good price point at $17.99 to get a wine that uh, scored 90 points from two different um, uh, critics. Uh, then we're moving on. This is another one. This is so interesting. This is the locations. This is part of Orrin Swift, uh, his um, wines. Um, the location series that just came out is featuring the best grapes from certain regions in a particular country. This one happens to be France. Um, so we've got on this, the uh, Grenache comes from the Roussan region, the Syrah comes from the um, Rhone region, and then he's also blending Bordeaux varietals. It's much bigger in style than you would ever expect from a French wine. Um, it looks very California. I love the updated packaging on this, and I just thought it was fantastic. We are going to round out the tasting with our uh, Hullabaloo Old Vine uh, Zinfandel. This is 93% Zinfandel, all old vines, 
and 7% um, petite Syrah, also old vine. Um, when vines get older, they tend to produce less fruit, but it tends to be more concentrated fruit, so you get a lot of really good flavor. This comes from Lodi, which is one of the oldest grape growing regions in California, and that rounds out our features for this week. We hope uh, to see you on the patio, and all Wine Club members, another shameless plug that Wine Club Pickup is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, noon to four. So mark your calendars, get your buns in here, and we'll all have a good time. Uh, look forward to seeing you all, and um, stay happy, stay healthy. See you later.